Welcome to Paw Prints Perfect. Today, we're going to talk about how to give your dog the best life possible. You see, dogs are amazing creatures and they deserve to be happy and fulfilled. We need to understand their needs, both physically and emotionally. Over the next 20 tips, we'll cover everything from nutrition and exercise to training and mental stimulation. Remember, a balanced dog is a happy dog. So let's get started. Number 20, the importance of nutrition. We all know food is fuel, right? Well, for dogs, the right food is crucial. It's not just about filling their bellies, it's about giving them the energy they need to thrive. A balanced diet for a dog consists of high quality protein, healthy fats, carbohydrates, and essential vitamins and minerals. Just like us, dogs need a variety of nutrients to stay healthy. Now, every dog is different. Age, breed, activity level, even pre-existing conditions all play a role in choosing the right food. Talk to your vet. They can help you find the perfect diet for your furry friend. Remember, a healthy diet equals a healthy dog. It's as simple as that. Number 19, tailoring the diet. So you've talked to your vet, you know what your dog needs, now what? Well, reading food labels is key. Don't be afraid to get into the details. Look for food that lists meat as the first ingredient. Avoid artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives. Remember, we want to feed our dogs real food as close to nature as possible. And don't forget about portion control. Overfeeding can lead to obesity, which can cause a whole host of health problems. Follow the guidelines on the food packaging and adjust as needed based on your dog's activity level. Remember, feeding your dog is an act of love. Make sure you're giving them the best possible nourishment every single day. Number 18, why exercise matters. Exercise isn't just about physical health, it's about mental health too. A tired dog is a good dog, remember that. Exercise helps release pent up energy, which can prevent behavioral issues down the line. A simple daily walk is a great start. It gives your dog a chance to sniff, explore, and take in the world around them. And it's a great opportunity for you to bond with your furry friend. But don't stop there. Dogs need playtime too. Fetch, frisbee, tug of war, whatever your dog enjoys. Playtime helps keep them engaged, stimulated, and happy. Remember, a walk without sniffing is like a meal without flavor. Let your dog enjoy the journey. Number 17, finding the right exercise routine. Now, just like with diet, the right amount of exercise varies from dog to dog. A chihuahua won't need the same amount of exercise as a husky. Start slowly and gradually increase the intensity and duration of exercise as your dog builds stamina and always listen to your dog. If they're showing signs of fatigue, it's time to take a break. Remember, exercise should be enjoyable for both you and your dog. Find activities you both love and make it a part of your daily routine. And most importantly, make it fun. Exercise shouldn't feel like a chore. It should be a celebration of your dog's energy and zest for life. Number 16, the importance of checkups. You love your dog, right? You want them to live a long and healthy life. One of the best ways to do that is to make sure they see the vet regularly, even if they seem perfectly healthy. Think of it like this. You take your car in for regular maintenance to make sure everything is running smoothly. Well, your dog's body is like a complex machine too. Regular checkups help catch potential problems early on before they become big, scary issues. Remember dogs age much faster than we do. A yearly checkup for them is like us going to the doctor every seven years. These visits allow your vet to track your dog's overall health, give them necessary vaccinations, and address any concerns you might have. Trust me, prevention is always better than cure. Taking your dog to the vet is nothing to be stressed about. It's a positive experience that helps keep your furry friend healthy. The vet will examine your dog from nose to tail. They'll check their teeth, ears, eyes, heart, lungs, and belly. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Get expert advice about your dog's health, nutrition, and behavior. The vet is your partner in ensuring your dog lives their best life. Number 15, a tired dog is a happy dog. We all know exercise is important for our dogs, but mental exercise is just as crucial. A tired dog is a good dog, and mental stimulation tires them out in the best way possible. It's like giving them a good workout, but for their brain. Just like us, dogs need mental challenges to stay sharp and avoid boredom. A bored dog can get into all sorts of mischief. They might start chewing on furniture, barking excessively, or even become anxious or destructive. Mental stimulation is all about keeping your dog engaged and thinking. Puzzle toys are fantastic for this. They come in all shapes and sizes, and they challenge your dog to figure out how to get to the treats hidden inside. Besides puzzle toys, there are many ways to stimulate your dog mentally. Training is fantastic for mental stimulation. Teach basic commands like sit, stay, come, and down. 
Try fun tricks like shaking paws or fetching toys. Keep sessions short and rewarding with praise and treats. Provide new experiences and different walking routes. A mentally stimulated dog is a happy dog. Number 14. The Importance of Socialization Socialization is crucial for dogs, especially when they're puppies. It's all about exposing them to different sights, sounds, people, animals, and experiences in a positive and controlled way. Think of it like building a strong foundation for a well-adjusted, confident dog. Puppies who are properly socialized grow up to be more comfortable and relaxed in various situations. They learn how to interact appropriately with other dogs, people, and their environment. This is key to preventing fear, anxiety, and aggression later in life. Socialization isn't just about letting your dog play with every dog they meet. It's about controlled exposure. Start by introducing your puppy to new experiences gradually and positively. Take them for walks in different neighborhoods. Let them meet well-mannered, vaccinated dogs and people. Keep interactions positive and short, rewarding calm and confident behavior. Enroll in a well-run puppy class for safe socialization. Socialization is ongoing, not just for puppies. Provide new experiences throughout their life. A well-socialized dog is a joy to be around. Number 13, grooming. We love our dogs, right? Keep them clean and healthy with regular grooming. It's about their well-being. Brushing is like a calming massage. It removes loose fur, dirt, and dander. Brush Fluffy breeds more often to prevent tangles. Choose the right brush for your dog's coat type. Your dog will thank you for it. Now, bath time. Some dogs love it, others not so much, but it's a necessary part of keeping them clean and comfortable. How often you bathe your dog depends on their breed, lifestyle, and coat type. A good rule of thumb is once a month, but if your dog loves rolling in the mud, you might need to do it more often. Use lukewarm water and a dog-specific shampoo and conditioner. Avoid getting water in their ears and make sure to rinse thoroughly to prevent skin irritation. After the bath, dry them off completely, especially if they have a thick coat, to prevent chills. And remember, bath time should be a positive experience. Use a calm and assertive energy and reward them with praise and maybe even a treat afterwards. Number 12, home is where the heart and safety is. A calm and balanced dog needs a calm and balanced environment. Your home should be a safe haven for your dog, a place where they can relax and feel secure. This means taking a walk around your house from your dog's perspective. Get down on their level and look for any potential hazards. Electrical cords, cleaning supplies, medications, these all need to be kept out of your dog's reach. Secure any loose wires and store harmful substances in cabinets they can't access. Remember, dogs explore with their mouths, so anything within their reach is fair game. Think about it. A safe environment prevents accidents and keeps your dog out of trouble. And a dog who feels safe and secure is less likely to develop anxiety or behavioral issues. Now let's talk about creating a dog-friendly zone within your home. This is your dog's personal space to relax and feel at ease. It could be their crate, a designated corner, or a comfy dog bed. Ensure it's comfortable, quiet, and away from hustle and bustle. Provide their favorite toys, a blanket, and maybe a water bowl. This is their sanctuary, a place to retreat when overwhelmed. Creating a dog-friendly zone is about understanding your dog's needs. Number 11 the power of basic obedience. Let me tell you, training is not just about teaching your dog tricks. It's about establishing a common language, a way for you to communicate and understand each other. And it all starts with basic obedience. Commands like sit, stay, come, and down form the foundation of a well-behaved dog. They provide structure, boundaries, and most importantly, they keep your dog safe. Remember, a trained dog is a happy dog. When your dog understands and responds to your commands, it builds confidence and strengthens your bond. It's about establishing yourself as the calm and assertive pack leader. Start with short, positive training sessions using rewards-based methods. Consistency is key here, folks. Make training part of your daily routine and you'll be amazed at how quickly your dog learns and progresses. Once your dog has mastered the basics, you can move on to more advanced commands and tricks. This is where things get fun and you can really tap into your dog's natural abilities. Teaching your dog tricks like shake, roll over, or play dead not only provides mental stimulation, but also strengthens your bond and enhances their overall well-being. Remember, training should be a positive and rewarding experience for both you and your dog. Avoid punishment or harsh methods, as these can damage your relationship and lead to behavioral issues. Instead, focus on positive reinforcement, using treats, praise, and plenty of encouragement. 
Remember, a well-trained dog is a joy to live with. They are well-mannered, responsive, and a pleasure to be around. And that's what being a pack leader is all about. Number 10, the importance of bonding. You know, we talk a lot about exercise and discipline and those are important, but a dog also needs to feel loved. They need to know they are part of the pack, part of your family. Spending quality time with your dog is crucial. It's not just about being in the same room. It's about engaging with them, looking into their eyes, speaking their language through touch and tone. When your dog knows you love them, when they feel safe and secure with you, it builds their confidence. They become more balanced and well-adjusted. Remember, a dog that feels loved is a happy dog, and a happy dog is a well-behaved dog. So make time for affection. Give them belly rubs. Tell them they're good. Trust me, it makes all the difference in the world. Now, every dog is different, just like people. Some dogs love to cuddle, others prefer a good ear scratch. You have to learn what your dog enjoys. Pay attention to their body language. Do they lean into you when you pet them? Do they wag their tail excitedly when you talk to them in a loving voice? Positive reinforcement is another great way to show affection. When your dog does something good, reward them with a treat, praise, or a favorite toy. Remember, consistency is key. Show your dog love and affection every day and you'll build a bond that's unbreakable. Number nine, dental care matters. We all know how important it is to take care of our own teeth, but did you know that dental care is just as crucial for your dog? Just like humans, dogs can develop plaque and tartar buildup, leading to bad breath, gum disease, and even tooth loss. Neglecting your dog's dental hygiene can also have serious consequences for their overall health. Bacteria from their mouth can enter the bloodstream and affect their heart, liver, and kidneys. So make sure you're brushing your dog's teeth regularly, just like you would for yourself. It's one of the best things you can do for their long-term health and well-being. Brushing your dog's teeth doesn't have to be a chore. Start by getting them used to the feeling of a toothbrush on their gums. Use a toothpaste specifically designed for dogs, as human toothpaste can be harmful. Make it a positive experience by rewarding them with praise and treats. You can also provide dental chews and toys that help scrape away plaque and tartar. If you're unsure about how to brush your dog's teeth properly, ask your veterinarian for a demonstration. They can also recommend professional dental cleanings when necessary. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. By taking care of your dog's teeth, you're setting them up for a lifetime of happy smiles. Number eight, water is life. We all know that water is essential for life, and that goes for our furry friends too. Just like us, dogs need access to fresh, clean water at all times to stay healthy and hydrated. Water plays a vital role in regulating body temperature, transporting nutrients, flushing out waste products, and keeping organs functioning properly. Dehydration can be a serious condition for dogs, especially during hot weather or after strenuous exercise. It can lead to lethargy, loss of appetite, vomiting, and even organ damage. So make sure your dog always has a full water bowl available, both indoors and outdoors. There are a few things you can do to encourage your dog to drink enough water. Firstly, make sure their water bowl is clean and fresh. Consider using a ceramic or stainless steel bowl, as plastic bowls can harbor bacteria and develop an unpleasant taste. You can also try adding some low sodium chicken broth or ice cubes to their water bowl for extra flavor and encouragement. If you notice your dog isn't drinking enough water, or if you see any signs of dehydration, consult your veterinarian immediately. Number seven, a good night's sleep. You work hard all day, right? And at the end of a long one, you just want a comfortable place to relax and recharge. Well, guess what? Your dog is the same way. Dogs need a good night's sleep to be their best selves. They're not too different from us in that way. A well-rested dog is a happy dog, and a happy dog is a pleasure to be around. It's all connected. Providing your dog with a comfortable sleeping area is crucial for their overall well-being. Imagine trying to sleep on a hard floor every night. You wouldn't be too happy, would you? So make sure your furry friend has a cozy bed that's the right size and provides good support. Trust me, they'll thank you for it. Now finding the right bed is one thing, but you also have to think about location, location, location. Where you put the bed is just as important as the bed itself. Pick a spot that's quiet and away from any drafts. You don't want your dog to be disturbed by every little noise or feel cold air blowing on them while they're trying to sleep. It's also a good idea to choose a location where your dog feels safe and secure. Some dogs like to be in the thick of things, while others prefer a more secluded spot. Observe your dog and see what they naturally gravitate towards. Remember, a comfortable sleeping area is about more than just physical comfort. It's about creating a space where your dog feels safe, relaxed, 
and ready for a good night's sleep. Number six, prevention is key. You know me, I'm all about prevention. We wanna stop problems before they even start. And when it comes to your dog's health, vaccinations are one of the best preventative measures you can take. Think of vaccinations as giving your dog's immune system a powerful boost. They help protect against serious and potentially deadly diseases like rabies, distemper, and parvovirus. Taking your dog to the veterinarian for regular checkups and vaccinations is crucial. These visits not only help prevent diseases, but also allow the vet to identify any potential health issues early on. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. By keeping your dog up to date on their vaccinations, you're giving them the best possible chance at a long and healthy life. Now, I know what you might be thinking. How often does my dog really need these vaccinations? Well, that's a conversation you need to have with your veterinarian. Every dog is different, and your vet will be able to recommend the best vaccination schedule for your furry friend based on their age, breed, lifestyle, and overall health. Don't be afraid to ask your vet any questions you might have about vaccinations. They're the experts, and they're there to help you make informed decisions about your dog's well-being. Remember, keeping your dog's vaccinations up to date is not just about protecting them, it's also about protecting other dogs in your community. It's about being a responsible pet owner. Number five, tiny pests, big problems, fleas and ticks. They might be small, but they can cause some big problems for your dog. Not only are they annoying and itchy, but they can also transmit diseases. These little critters are more than just a nuisance. They can cause skin irritations, allergies, and even serious illnesses in dogs. Some of these diseases can even be transmitted to humans. We don't want that. That's why it's so important to take preventative measures to keep fleas and ticks away from your furry friend. And trust me, there's nothing worse than seeing your dog uncomfortable and scratching all the time. Prevention is key here, just like with vaccinations. We want to stop these pests before they have a chance to latch onto your dog and cause problems. There are many different flea and tick prevention products available on the market, from topical treatments to oral medications to special collars. Talk to your veterinarian to determine the best option for your dog based on their lifestyle and any sensitivities they might have. Remember, consistency is key. Follow the instructions on the product label carefully and administer it regularly to ensure your dog is protected year round. Don't let fleas and ticks take over your dog's life. By taking preventative measures, you can keep your furry friend happy, healthy, and pest free. Number four, rewarding with food. We all love to give our dogs treats, right? It's a way to show affection and reward good behavior. But remember, just like with humans, too many treats, especially unhealthy ones, can lead to health issues. We don't want that. You see, dogs need a balanced diet to thrive. Too many sugary or fatty treats can lead to obesity, dental problems, and even more serious health concerns down the line. It's about finding that balance. So when you're choosing treats for your furry friend, opt for healthy options. Look for treats that are low in calories and fat and high in nutritional value. There are plenty of great options available these days. You want to treat your dog right, and that starts with good food. Moderation is key with treats. Treats should be no more than 10% of daily intake. Balance is important, not spoiling them. Offer healthy alternatives like fruits and vegetables. Apples, carrots, or green beans are great options. These are nutrient-packed and supplement their diet. Pair treats with positive reinforcement. A simple good boy can reinforce good behavior. A healthy dog is a happy dog. Make smart choices and your furry friend will thank you. Number three, the importance of play. Let me tell you, a tired dog is a happy dog. The best way to tire out your dog is through play. Playtime is essential for your dog's well-being. It helps release pent-up energy and prevents destructive behaviors. A tired dog is less likely to chew on furniture or bark excessively. Playtime strengthens the bond between you and your dog. Engage in play to build trust and communication. Set aside time each day for dedicated playtime. Playtime doesn't always have to be high energy. Engage your dog's mind with interactive games and puzzles. Puzzle toys challenge your dog mentally and keep them entertained. A tired mind leads to a tired dog. Mental challenges tire them out like a good run. Hide treats and let your dog use their nose to find them. Keep it interesting and engaging for your dog. Make playtime a priority and watch your dog thrive. Not all toys are created equal. Choosing the right toys is crucial for their safety. Avoid toys that could harm them. Consider your dog's size and chewing habits. A toy that's not durable could be ingested. Avoid toys with small parts. Opt for durable, dog-specific toys. 
Now even with the safest toys, supervision is key. No toy is indestructible. Regularly inspect your dog's toys for damage. Replace toys showing signs of wear. It's better to be safe than sorry. Provide safe toys to satisfy their instincts. And lastly, make playtime fun. Number two, car safety. You love your dog and want to take them everywhere. Just like a child, your dog needs to be safe on the road. Letting them roam free is dangerous. In an accident, an unrestrained dog can become a projectile. Use a proper restraint system. Options include crates, harnesses, and car seats. A safe dog is a happy dog. Secure your dog for a happy car ride. Traveling with your dog goes beyond car rides. Whether you're flying or taking a train, be prepared. Your dog needs their travel gear too. Have their leash, collar with ID tags, food, water, and medications. A familiar blanket or toy helps them feel comfortable. New smells and sounds can be overwhelming. Research airline regulations in advance. Double-check hotels are dog-friendly. Traveling with your dog can be wonderful. Plan ahead, pack properly, and prioritize their safety. Enjoy amazing adventures together. Number one, predictability and security. You see, dogs thrive on routine. Just like humans find comfort in knowing what to expect, so do our dogs. A consistent routine provides them with a sense of predictability and security. They know when to expect their walks, their meals, their playtime. This stability helps reduce anxiety and stress, creating a calmer, happier dog. Remember, a calm and balanced dog is a happy dog. Consistency is key to achieving this balance. Establishing a routine doesn't mean being rigid. Life happens, and deviations are inevitable. Make deviations minimal and predictable. Arrange for someone to walk your dog if you're late. Find a reliable pet sitter for vacations. Consistency is key. Feed your dog at the same time daily, walk them at similar times, and have designated playtime. This predictability helps your dog feel secure. Packs thrive on structure and routine. You're creating a stable, loving environment. We love our dogs. They are part of the family. We need to be prepared for emergencies. Emergencies can happen anytime. A natural disaster, a sudden illness, or an accident. The first step is having a plan. Include an emergency kit, vet care, and a safe space. Preparation ensures your dog's safety. Having a plan ensures your dog's well-being and provides you with peace of mind. Stay calm and assertive, especially during emergencies. Your dog looks to you for guidance. If you are calm, they will feel secure. Be aware of potential risks in your area and educate yourself on basic canine first aid. Being prepared is about being a responsible and loving pack leader. Handle situations with calmness, confidence, and love. And there you have it, 20 tips to give your dog the best life possible. Remember, it's all about fulfilling their needs as dogs, physical exercise, mental stimulation, and affection. Be the calm and assertive leader they need you to be. Provide them with a structured environment, a loving home, and you'll have a happy and balanced companion for life. Thanks for watching. We hope these tips help you give your dog the best life possible. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Paw Prince Perfect for more dog-related content.